of my kooky, cocky gamers. It's your boy, Mr. Old Rash, and for today's indie game of the day, I have chosen After the Curtain Call. There's going to be multiple acts, so more coming soon, but this is part one. It looked pretty interesting, so I was like, might as well try it. Let's start. Find all the books first. Illuminate the actor. The king dreams he is king, and he lives in the deceit of a king, commanding and governing, and all the praise he receives is written in wind and leaves a little dust on the way when death ends all with a breath. Hmm. Where, then, is the gain of a throne that shall perish and not be known in the other dream that is death? Dreams the rich man of riches in fears, the fears that his riches breed. The poor man dreams of his need and all his sorrows and tears. Dreams he that prospers with years. Dreams mm. he that feigns and foregoes. Dreams he that rails on his foes. And in all the world I see, man dreams whatever he be. And his own dream, no man knows. No man knows. And I too dream and behold, I dream I am bound with chains, and I dream that these present pains were fortunate ways of old. What is life? A tale that is told. What is life of frenzy extreme? A shadow of things that seem, and the greatest good is but small, that all but life small. is a dream to all, and that dreams themselves are a dream. You okay there, bud? What is a dream? Oh. But the absence Still of going. thought? And what is a dream absence of thought? The life of another? That is only lived in the mind. A dream is nothing. Play Why don't part. you understand? It is nothing. Part. All these stories are just Play myths, subjective part. ideas, exaggerations, dramatizations. Why did you come? We have nothing to give you. We are just actors following a script. Play your part. Good job, buddy. Life is, is a dream. You're the electrician, right? You're the one who moves the spotlight. I mm -hmm. I need you to do us a favor. Go go behind the stage and the radio. The radio. Turn it on. I, I didn't manage to turn it on. Something might be wrong with it. Please, it's really important. We're depending on. It's it's just a radio, man. Uh, is it really that deep? Turn the radio behind. The... How do I get down there? Oh, the. When everyone leave, I just said, oh, wait, what's this? Today's the day. This is the day we risk it all. Mr. and Mrs. Lewis, famous drama passionate. They are coming to see our play at the Goldshine Theatre. The Lewises. The Lewises. Support the small acting companies since time immemorial. And today is our turn. Th that, that is if everything turns out fine, of course. Should I, I be worried about the noises in the background? Six years old. And today, us leg records will rise to the top. I... I'm I'm getting nervous. I, is it too obvious? Maybe I should stop writing notes and continue. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I, I hope it goes well. Let's break a leg. Oh, I'm assuming I'm supposed to go down there. Hello? Yeah, I'm assuming I can't get in here. Nope. It won't let me in. Turn the radio behind the stage on. We'll do buckaroo. Buckaroo. Uh, nope. Search for the key and access to the electricity decoration. Hello? Key. Where art thou, Key?
Oh, wait. We already went up here. The door. We gotta go that way. Sorry, I forgot. Search for the key. Page entry. Another. In each page, a warrior is presented as a dictionary entry. Alexis, another warrior that went from being flesh and bone to another demigod. As the legend says, a shepherd walking his sheep's arm fall from the sky with a bright light. Alexis passed the time watching the gladiators fight. It was said when the Roman Empire began, Alexis was the best warrior. From the abilities he had only learned by watching others fight. He died during a battle and it was rumored golden blood dripped from his wounds. It is known for a fact he had offspring, but their whereabouts were lost to time. Lost to time. Uh, how inconspicuous is this? Let me just take that. Fix the sounds. Main electricity source. I thought this was the key. Where art thou, Key? Another book. A mystical and horrorful Lovecraftian tale about a kid who, misled by his grandfather's indications, awakes an elder being while making a snowman. A Christmas classic for the whole family that I myself would recommend. Ooh, nice. Oh, still not working. So was I just chilling out the lights this whole time? I have the key though! But I have the key! Man! Man! Why was there just a big ass finger right there? <laughs> I didn't like it. I'm so happy. You mm. have never had the theater for us. And from not having anything, you have the whole gold sign theater. That's a big step right there. It is not the biggest stage, but has room everywhere. And having more space for our costumes and scenery is something I will take with open arms. I think the new decoration, by the way, there's a sphere. A it's sphere? Sure I know, but it's somewhat strange. Viscous and gigantic. To be honest, I don't know what to play the expected to make to that thing. Hello, into the darkness? Can I see? Oh no, okay. Oh, a book! The book narrates the life of Luntian? Luntian? A mythical creature living in an old Philippines forest in which mystical and sometimes horrible things happen. A marvelous piece of narrative fantasy. Lun Luntian seems like a great guy, if I do say so myself. Well, okay. Oh, wait. Look at this. Did I do it? Nope. Fuck. Nope. Oh my god, rage. Alright, there we go. There we go. Can I go over it? God. Wait. There we go. <laughs> I'm, a freaking, oh, I'm a little I'm a little silly. I'm a little silly boy. What was I thinking? Is it even possible? 
possible that the Lewis have criticized our play as excellent? Hmm. Hmm. No. Even is better. it possible? Is it even possible they have bought us the whole Goldshine Theater? I'm shocked. The Goldshine is now ours. I never would have seen it. It's now ours. Besides the theater, they have also bought us some decorations, which Helena is organizing, and some extra pounds Jeffrey has spent on books to write an original play. I always wanted to do that. Mm. Always wanted to. If Jeff wasn't a mess and didn't throw his books around everywhere. I'm sure they're lying around here somewhere. Book? Book? Oh, book? <laughs> this piece tells the story of the M Mayans who ended up being eradicated by the Aztecs in a cruel and painful way. Because of this, the souls wouldn't be transformed into butterflies as their religion demanded. Since they didn't reach the sun, they instead became their counterparts. Moths, living in dark and forever searching the sun's light. An interesting and dramatic fantasy book. Hmm, so interesting. So, I'm like, whoa, it's so interesting. No, no little fingies are going to come at me this time, is it? Is it? The radio isn't working. Fix the sounds electric. I might have to kill a bitch if I see something. A book! All five books! The classic story of Pied Piper of Hamelin. However, in this book in specific, it is noted that the flute is not what attracted the invasive rats, but what the flute summons that the flute summoned some creature which was itself the reason of the rats escaping away. The book calls this creature Skeletogeist. The book is really, really old. Could it be the original? Could, could it be? Now, I'm not one for puzzles, but this one seems fa fairly simple. Life is a dream. Life is a dream. Shibubi da ba doo ba da ba paradise from above. <laughs> Don't you fuck with me here. Life could be a dream. Uh, uh, uh. I'm hiding, I'm hiding, I'm hiding. Ah, I'm hiding in the corner, please! Yeah. <laughs> oh? <laughs> well, the corner didn't seem to work. Escape the electricity room. Easy, easy peasy. Oh, you can't cross wires. The doy. This way it has to go like this. Oh, I get, I get it. I get it now. Okay. Sorry, I'm a little silly sometimes. All right, there we go. Let me out. That was the thing, dude. I did it. Oh, wait. Hello? Well, I don't like that. Or that. Don't you play these games with me? Mother. I think he got me. Oh, you just kind of played it after the curtain call up. Life is a dream. Did you find all the books to play the ex extremely electric content? I did. So before we go, let's check out what that extra content is, baby. Um. 
I found all the books. Oh. That. I don't think I want to see that hand there, guys. I don't think I should do it. Yeah, at the rhythm of your music. There's not neatly, there's not merely the meeting place of all arts, but it's also the return of art to life. You talk too much. I choose this way, the doorway is. Yeah, that don't make no sense. All right. This one, this one, this one. Damn it. I'm not that great at puzzles, but I do. And there we go, baby. I'm so amazing. I'm just going to go around that. Big old dick grab me. <laughs> A tentacle monster? Alright, that's gonna do it for this episode of After the Curtain Call. Hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.